welcome back to my channel so today i thought i'd do a colour and chat from best of lang grand classics by hatchet heroes and i thought we would do this one here i'm going to show you guys the solutions so if you do not want to see the solutions look away now and for you guys who would like to see what this picture is, if you can't tell what it is already, because you kind of can see it. I'm going to show you now. Ready? For you guys that don't like the solutions, look away now. And we're going to be doing this picture here. Okay. You guys can look back now at the ones that didn't want to see it. So we're going to do number one, which is the outline of the character. But in this colour and chart, I won't be actually, you know, showing you the whole character. Because usually the outline is the longest part. But when I do these books here... I do do them in number slash alphabetical order because that's how it's easier. But if you guys usually do it like different shades, because I've seen people do from like this corner to this corner, it's however you want to do it. If you've never seen any of these books before, these are the older Hatchet Hero books because the newer ones do have a little bit lighter grey lines. And if I zoom you guys in a little bit, you can see the numbers and letters that are going to be on here. They're quite visible on this picture anyway. Apart from by her face, you can see it's like quite detailed, but that for me is totally fine. Zoom you guys out again. So yeah, as I said, we're going to do number one first. This is going to go towards a prompt for this month that I need to do. I'm not going to tell you guys whose prompt it is. Just in case you guys want to be surprised if you have this book. Trying to figure out which lines which sometimes I do do that. This um video will be about half an hour. So it's not really a colour and chat, it's more like an outline and chat really on this one. But I'm gonna try and complete this page this month. Because I was just looking through my book and I was like, I need to do some of these prompts and things this month because I have not done it. Today, well, yesterday for you guys. Today I watched The Little Mermaid live action. Guys, it's absolutely amazing. It's definitely worth the excitement, honestly. I couldn't just wait, I couldn't, I had to watch on day release. I've never liked them, like movies or like cinema pictures, whatever you want to call it, I'm never like that. Because I'm one of them people, I wait till it's like released on Disney Plus or something. I don't really like going to the cinema anymore really. But I went there with my sister and my mum and... We all enjoyed it. My mum keeps saying, oh, no, I didn't enjoy it, but you can tell when she was watching it, her face was all happy and everything. We watched it in the 3D version. If you have little ones and you are planning on watching it, I can, like, I highly, highly recommend the 3D version because it's really good. Like, really, really, really good. Unless you're sensitive to that type of stuff, then understand, but if you're not and you've got little ones, Go for the 3D, honestly. It would be the best experience you've ever done. So, 
so I watched that today. It's so good. Hallie's voice is actually amazing. Dolly plays Ariel. Her actual singing voice is amazing. It does have like the original but also like new if that makes sense like it does it's really good though i don't want to spoil it but at the same time i want to tell you guys all about it you know <laughs> but i'm not gonna do that because i know it's just come out and i'm not that type of person to spoil things but yeah if you've got little ones and you'd really like to take them take them to the 3d version they will love it Unless they're sensitive to that type of stuff with like glasses on the faces or stuff like that. Then of course do the standard. It's a little bit more expensive 3D but honestly guys it's worth it. It is worth it. I haven't watched a 3D movie in... Um, years to be honest. Like, honestly, I think it's been years, but it just it is amazing, honestly. I'll definitely watch it again and again and again and again and never get bored of it. But I know there's like uh, a few movies coming out that I really do want to watch. Because seeing the trailers in the cinema or pictures movie theaters whatever you want to say it is i've seen trailers for some movies i actually do want to watch they always do that don't they they always catch it out like that how i do it is i outline it then i color it in so it'll look a bit weird at the minute but when I've done the outline, it's fine. And how I do it is I use a normal, you know, writing pen, like a ballpoint point pen or, yeah, anything like that. And then I write, say, just a normal pen. That's how I do my outlines. And then I do pencil for the shape, shading, maybe. pencil for the colours. I used to do all pencil, like these two, like this Ariel here, she's all done in pencil. She looks absolutely amazing, but my black pencil did die. It went about this small when it was done, and it was like, if that's going to be every picture, you know, like, you know what I mean? And I don't want to do that, so I tried to, like, figure out what, um, medium to use in this type of book i know you can use um water space markers but for me i am a heavy-handed colorist i am because i've used um this before i've used this pen uniball eye pen it is good but for me because i am as i said i'm I don't know, I'm probably heavy handed. I tried it on the back here, on this one. And it did go through to the other side. Like, it did actually go through. And I did not like that one bit, like, on here as well. Like, I did not like that at all. So, I tried this one and it doesn't go through. But it does leave, like, a print, but it doesn't go through. And that's fine with me because I want to do this one and then on the other side I use lots of pages. I always use lots of pages no matter what I do. So I've always done that. So it's not really a problem for me. But if you don't like bumpy textures or anything like that, then don't do this. But if you're like me and you don't really like ghosting or like a little bit of bleed through through felt tip markers or water space markers, then just use pencils or 
what I want to try and do is use just watercolours. See if this paper works for well watercolours. If anyone's done that, let me know if it does work properly. If it doesn't, just let me know. I, I don't want to do acrylic paints either because I haven't got the steadiest of hands. And I know you guys have an amazing, like, results from them and I know for a fact if I did them they'll look horrible so I do do it like this yeah it's a little bit longer but I do enjoy it a bit more I'm not worrying about the other side really about like any breakthroughs or anything I just can't get a little mermaid song top my head. <laughs> it is a really good movie though. I really enjoy it. What movie are you excited for? Are you excited to watch The Little Mermaid if you have booked it? It's kind of like a last minute but also planned thing for me and my sister and my mum. Let's see what it is around here. I'm going to guess this is a really detailed black outline picture. I say really detailed, it's not as detailed as the newer books. But back here, back then the, this is detailed. And if you are like me and you wasn't like sure if you'd like these books, get these type of ones where it's the best of. So you get like a little variety of everything because in this book has outlines and doesn't have outlines. It has like um like all the older ones that they have, I think it's volume 1 through 7. And I know they're on number 10 now, so. But I do like this book a lot. And if you do have this book and you would like to do a buddy colour with me, let me know. Because I do do quite a lot of my buddy colours and my Disney prompts in this book. If I can't find in this one, I can get the other ones. But this one is my go to Disney book. Sorry if this is a bit boring, this colour in fact guys. I just wanted to, you know. If you're wondering what's on my wrist, that's just like a hair, hair tie. A bobble, pony, tail tie, whatever you want to call them. I sometimes just keep it on my wrist. <laughs> so I don't lose it. Anyone else like that or is that just me? So what's everyone been up to this weekend? Or going to do this weekend, sorry. I still can't believe it's Saturday. Like, I feel like this month is just gone. It's already the 27th, like... So I don't want to wrap up this month, to be honest. And if you haven't um, knew about it, um, me and Jamie from Jamie Loves Colouring are doing a hashtag from May till July which is Cute Chibi Summer 2023. This will be our second or third year doing this hashtag. And we just like both love chibi and cute stuff. So we thought, do a hashtag about it. I was originally going to just do it for like, um, June and July but then um, Jamie said my birthday's in May and I was like 
You know what? We're gonna do three birthdays, right? And that's what we did. She came up with the idea of the hashtag, which is so cute and adorable. I love the hashtag, like name. It just rolls off the song as well, doesn't it, guys? Um, but yeah, if you don't know what the hashtag's all about, pretty much it is any chibi, kawaii, um, anime, manga style, cutesy, adorable, anything with massive eyes, like really big gorgeous like chibi style eyes anything with like a big head and little body like you know like that type of style like kind of like a chibi style but not really chibi um anything just adorable in your eyes like because i think chibi or kawaii one of them in japanese is cute if i'm wrong let me know um but yeah, it's pretty much saying cute, cute summer. So let's see, it's pretty much like anything like that. So if you have any books with like adorable stuff like that in, just totally fine. If you're still a bit unsure of like the picture, just take like take a little picture of it and send me on um instagram on dms and i'll see if it's okay if it's not if i'm really unsure just go to jamie as well um jamie is always linked in the description down below if you guys want to check her channel out She is like one of my bestest friends on YouTube and like colouring community. I think we both started our channels pretty much at the same time. And we just become really close like friends for this community, which that's why I love the colour community. I've met so many amazing people that I would never have met otherwise and all you subscribers are amazing and I am blessed that I've got every single one of you every single day if I could hug every single one of you I would but my arms aren't long enough and if you're ever having a crappy day just put one of my videos on and it makes you happy well, at least I'll try and make you happy. That's just what I'm here for, really. I love trying to make people happy and make people's days just a little bit brighter. Because I know how dark days can get. If there's any like type of videos you guys would like to see from me in the channel let me know and i will try my best to do it if i can't do it i'll let you know through a video or i'll let you know on instagram or whatever you message me you know what i mean i'll let you guys know But with me with um, colouring and crafting and doing videos in general, I usually do them whatever I'm feeling, if that makes sense. So if I'm not feeling like a colouring chat, I won't do a colouring chat, I'll do probably a diamond painting or something. You know what I mean? Anything, whatever I'm up to on that day type thing. That's how I am like. I'm just trying to figure out, is this a line? Just like, I don't know, because I know this one is. Okay. 
if you guys can see who it is, you guys can see who it is, but I'm not going to say nothing, because I want, if you guys can't see, I want you guys who have the book want to be surprised as well, you know what I mean? Like I said, I don't like spoiling stuff for people, I don't want to get spoiled. I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to me you guys are amazing and if you are new and you are wondering should i subscribe to this girl do it it's free it's all, it's all down below underneath the video type thing and pretty much we're just one big family here i won't stand negative comments i'll just delete them like anything that sounds a bit bitchy or a bit like you know that might trigger people or something i just delete them because i don't want my audience to see that all the ones is happy positive um vibes pretty much guys to be honest But if you are like giving an advice and it's like good advice and not like, I don't know the word is, you know, like you say something but you're like you're making it say like, I'm correct, everyone's wrong, that type of thing. I want out that. But like I'll have people giving each other advice and stuff like that. You know what I mean, guys? Like the nice positive comments, that's what I like. So, uh, what is everyone doing the weekend? I'm pretty much going to be probably doing this or, I don't know, probably just like colouring, watch a little bit of YouTube, you know, just chill out for the weekend. Hopefully if it's not really boiling because it's been absolutely gorgeous today in the UK. I say today, it was yesterday for you guys. It's been absolutely gorgeous. It went up to 20 degrees, which is quite warm for the UK. Um, especially for May. That's quite, quite hot for May. Because I went out in like a hoodie and I was like, I'm boiling. <laughs> like, it was like a nice breeze out. And then I wore like a hoodie because I thought I'll get a bit chilly. No, no, was I wrong? Oh, it was horribly like warm. It was like warm but nice warm. Does that make any sense? I'm just trying to figure out what line to on. So even sometimes I'm like, I don't know what's what. I'm going to just do like this part here and then call it a video. Don't worry, I'm going to continue with the scavenger hunt. Just like I said today, I just wanted to do a bit like colour and chat and just, you know. Do a bit of outline, to be honest. Yeah, if you'd like to do any body colours in this book, um comment the number down below that you would like to do see if we've done it or if you wanted to you can dm me on instagram
anybody wants, to be honest, guys. I don't want to thank everyone who has followed my Instagram. You guys are amazing. See, it is detailed, but it's not that detailed, you know what I mean? Because once I've done all the outline, I'm going to go back over it, like in the middle here. Um, that's where all the number one is, and then I'll make the line thicker. This is a really good book, or like these actual books are really good if you're a Disney fan, but you're not really of like call yourself Disney fan. These books are good because they already have the colours for you. But you do need quite a large colour palette to do these books. Just trying to figure out where's what. <laughs> if you want to guess who it is in the comments, guess down below. But if you already know, just like throw people up and say a random one. You know what I mean? Uh, and the emoji today is going to be... Mm. What do a little rose if there is one? If there's a little rose or flower, or you can just say it in a line. You guys know I like uh, leaving little secret words in my videos so I know who watches them. Sorry, I'm a bit quiet, guys. Just trying to figure out what's what, like I said. So, I'm gonna leave it down here. I'm gonna leave it there, this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this, like, I wanna say colour and chat, because it is a colour and chat, but it's not really a colour and chat, because I was just doing outline. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to follow my Instagram, follow my Facebook group page. Also give my TikTok a little bit of love. Love you guys so much. Stay safe, be kind to each other and always remember you matter in life. And if no one's told you today, you matter. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.